How am I going to start my presentation when a bike is looking like this? It's not even looking like a bike anymore. I know, it's looking like a project and that is what it is. Because we are going to match this bike with the E36 M3 GT. And I know it's a car, it's not a bike, but it's still a fun product to do because we already did a BMW M2, the new one, also in the style of the E36 M3 GT. We have to paint the uh, uh, part in British Racing Green and we are going to add some bronze details to make it stand out even better than it's already going to be. And besides that, there's a lot of carbon fiber going on this bike, but I'll talk you through on that later in the video. Uh, also about the exhaust, about the sprockets, a lot of special parts. But now first, we are going to ship out the suspension to Buxur. Okay, so before we are changing the exhaust to the new one, I'd like to point out a couple of things to the original system and then to the new one. Because this is the original header, but with the filters in it. And as you can see, they're quite big. This is an optional piece, the Akapovic slip-on, so it's already a little bit lighter than the heaviest version, but there's also valves on it originally. And if you look at those headers, there's no valves, there's no filter, there's nothing. And it's also not made out of stainless steel, but yeah, you don't recognize the sound. I can imagine that, but it's titanium. So it's feather lightweight and also the slip on, it's, there's, <laughs> there's not much left. I can see you through, so it shouldn't weigh that much, but I'd still like to point it out on the scale. So let's take the original header. This is in kilograms. Eight point forty five. Two point forty five. Is it broken? Huh? No, it's true. It is. 2.5. So this is already a weight saving of six kilogram. That's a lot. Especially if you look at percentages, the big slip on, that's not that much, 2.15. And then oh, the big piece, it's heavy. It's not, it's only, <laughs> it's not even a kilogram. It's 0.8 kilogram, this piece. It's like holding a phone. Yeah, these are just as big as phone nowadays. I guess you will get this mounted. But before we go over to the mounting, I'd also like to weigh these two parts. Because this is the original sprocket, and this is Sierra Carbon. So this is with made out of carbon fiber and aluminum. Oh. 
this is quite light already, the original one. That's a steel version, though, by the way. That's 0.75 kilogram. And this one is 0.35. So that's more than half the weight. And it's rotating mass. So rotating mass, you want to keep it as low as possible just to get the right feeling when you're uh, steering your, the bike. And now over to Ayesh. goodies have just arrived and that's good news so let's go through them because we are going to start with pooch we've got some accessories not that much protectors for the swing arm and also chain tensioners these are cnc mills they are looking pretty okay uh, we already talked about the sprocket um, so let's move on to the things we haven't talked about and this is just a, si yeah, I would say simple part uh, because it's just nuts and bolts. Uh, some of them are titanium, but all of them are black. And I'll show you the bike. There are so many bolts that are silver right now. And they are literally everywhere. I wanted to show them over here. Um, so we needed a lot of them. That's uh, actually the thing. But the most special ones are these, because these nuts are titanium and also in black. And these are for the sprocket, for this one, the carbon sprocket. That's why we chose titanium, to make them even lighter than it already is. And it really saves, again, about 50%, maybe more. And also this part, this is the, uh, what, what's it called, battery tray? I think the battery tray. And this is custom carbon, Dymotech. Because we ordered like almost every part from Il Ilmberger, but they didn't have the battery tray in carbon fiber. So we had to make this custom, but it is in the same weave as Ilmberger uses. And then onto the wheels, because we painted them, or EM wheels did, um, with a bronze center and a silver outer lip. And this is how we did the wheels of the M2 we built earlier. But eventually we will go for a custom set of wheels to match the design with the E36 M3, G GT of course. Um, but for now, this is looking pretty good. So it's up to Ayesh to get them on the bike.
let's go to the carbon fiber. And it's quite a lot. And this is what I talked about, the Ilmberger package. Uh, they have a little bit more carbon fiber for the M1000R. So there's a lot available, something for everybody. We chose almost everything, but not everything because we also wanted to have the green popping out on the bike. But besides that, we think it's looking really pretty. This is high quality carbon fiber. The company started in 1990. It's quite a long time ago uh, by uh, Sir Ilmberger. And he already started producing carbon fiber in that time. Of course, not in the quality as it is right now because the, um, the autoclave carbon fiber, the pre-prec um, started early 2000, but that's already early for production of carbon fiber. Later on, other companies, other brands started using this method as well. But still, a lot of them are using wet carbon fiber and that's less quality. Um, it, it's also uh, discoloring after a year or a couple years. But this is the highest quality, the lowest in weight. Not that it's really important to have it in lowest weight, but still, it's good to have it in the highest quality. And there's one stamp that says it really is, and that's TUV. That's the German certification that says it's in the best quality. Every part comes with TUV on this coloring, on the uh, clear coat, on everything. And now it's time to get this all installed. So, parts are back from the painter, some uh, brown parts are metallic uh, painted and some parts are Cerakoted, brown, all the black parts are anodized. We're going to mount it then and then we go and send it back to GP products to get it installed.
<laughs> oh shit. It's finally there, the end result. Uh, not the complete end result, but for now. Oh. Holy shit. The M1000R GT. This is how the GT should be. In British racing green, with bronze details, with silver accent on the wheels. A Krapovic exhaust. This is the first time I see it and I'm a little bit speechless, so bear with me over here. The amount of carbon on this bike is insane, really. Everything that you can see is made out of carbon fiber. Ilmberger really did a good job on this. Really, really did a good job on this. The decals, custom made. It's installed last night. And the bronze stands out also on the frame and on the spring and the, in the rear. Brake disc, I haven't mentioned that yet. Also lightweight and still performance. But we still need to do one thing. And that's really important, especially because we installed a completely catless uh, exhaust. And that's tuning. That's the fun part. And therefore, we are going to uh, Tofami. Uh, he's going to put it on the uh, dyno and hopefully it will also produce a little bit more horsepower, even though the stock is already enough. But let's get the bike loaded up. So we uh, tested this bike the first time to see if the, how the settings are and if the bike is uh, okay and healthy and everything. Uh, and now we have uh, changed uh, the parameters like the fuel uh, air fuel ratio, uh, ignition a little bit and some other uh, parameters. Uh, we've written the mapping in the ECU and now we will uh, test it again to see, uh, to see what the results will be and how the bike will feel. Final result of 207 horsepower at the wheel. He measured 202 from stock, but it's not completely stock because of the exhaust. And from factory, it should be 210 at the crank. So there's a pretty good gain, but especially in the lower RPM, it's way better than it was before. This is also nice. It came in with just one color and it goes out with three blue, brownish, and also purple. That's because of the titanium that gets the heat in it. And it's looking really, really pretty. And that's also what we like. The bike is not finished yet, but for now it is. But there's a lot more to come. And now it's time to reveal this bike to the public at Motorburs Utrecht. And don't forget to follow us on all the social media at GP Products Motors.